two, one, live. Starting. What's up, guys? We're live. Hopefully, you can see us and hear us. Let us know in the chat if you can see us and hear us, because yeah. that would be a good thing. Because this is the mic. We made it to Austin. We're here. I'm going to wait till the chat says, yes, we can see you and hear you. Otherwise, you'll just be like mutes talking. Type in the chat if you can see us or hear us. <laughs> All right. What's yeah, up, guys? There it goes. We got the indie thrift here. We got Tracy Thrifts. We got Ben Hawk in the chat. We got, got the Michael. Rose Reseller. Steven, Laura. Carol. Laura. Cool. Ben cool, Hawk, cool. 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 Roman. Laura, We're in like a guys, super, Doris, super nice spot in Mark, like Michael. in the heart of downtown Austin, Dutch. staying with friends of ours. So Callie's in the chat. Callie's in the chat. All right. Cool. Frosty Charlie. Sorry we haven't done lives the past couple of days. We've just been running all over the place, driving all around. Yesterday or last night, we left Houston and drove to mm -hmm. Dallas. We got into okay. Dallas at like 1 in the morning. Yeah. Um, we woke up and we went to... Funimation. Yeah, we went to Funimation. We got to like check a check a uh, activity off our bucket list, which was crazy. A whole experience. Yeah, we um is now checked off. So we went to we got a tour of the Funimation um, where they like edit the sound and the videos for Dragon Ball Z, and then it just so happened that the voice of Vegeta, his name is Chris Sabat. Chris Sabat was there, and we got to meet Chris Sabat, which is like it's crazy. That's like our favorite. That's guy. my favorite voice actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got to meet him and hang out with him, and it was really cool. Um, and then we we left there and we drove from Dallas to Austin. So now we're in Austin. We just got here like half an hour. Hit ago, so. really weird traffic along the way, but it was worth every second. Yeah. So we have we have 182 yeah. people watching. That's cool. Thanks guys All for right. being here. We yes, appreciate thanks it so much. Sorry about the really last minute. Yeah. Post about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, when our buddy's playing, he's playing video games in the background. He said to ask to make sure that you can't hear him playing video games. Should we show them? If you could, Should we rotate if you the could camera? Hear, hold on, let me grab it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> well, let me go back to the, uh, okay, there we go. So you can see. Tony, say hi. Yo! <laughs> we're live! <laughs> so Tony will be there playing video games. Hopefully it's not too loud. And we'll be uh, we'll be here streaming. All right, camera, pick us up. All right, there we go. So the um, so we've ha we have been thrifting the past. Yeah, we met Vegeta, Milo. Isn't that cool? We have been thrifting the past couple of days. So we're going to show you guys some of the things that we found. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say over the past few days we've been to maybe five or six uh, thrift stores. Callie says hi, Tony. Oh so yeah, we're just going to say that. Yeah. What's he playing? He's playing Skate, skate three. 3. Yeah? Skate good. 4. He's playing Skate, skate three, 4. Skate yeah, Tony got Skate 4. It's out now. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? We got lots of people in the chat. What's going on? So we're going to show you guys some of the stuff that we found at the thrift stores. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, guys, please. And then we'll start showing you some things. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, so exciting. No game sounds. That's good. Yeah. Did fun. you have him say, Kakarot? No, oh, we didn't. We didn't ask him because we didn't want to like. Yeah, he was actually know. he yeah. was there doing a voice for a different show, mm -hmm. doing uh, voice acting for a different show. So honestly, we were both kind of not gonna lie, we were kind of like fangirling. Like, we're oh, just my, so excited. Like, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> he was a really nice guy. He remembered everything about everyone's family. Was asking everyone how their family's doing. Yeah, he was I a mean, nice. It dude. was. He was really an awesome guy. So yeah, goes to show. So we're gonna is as cool as. We'll show you guys Person stuff that we bought. And then if you guys have questions, just leave them in the chat and we'll try to answer your questions as much as we can. Who's that? Who's that? Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. <laughs> this is Tony's sister. This is Tony's sister. We're all family here. We're staying with them in yeah. Austin. This is Nikki. What up? Hey. Everyone say hi, Nikki. I'm Callie's best friend. Callie's going to freak out. <laughs> Callie's gonna be so there's excited. Callie. There oh, she there's is. Callie. Look. There's is Callie. Nikki? There she. Oh, I said that not even knowing she was in there. <laughs> <laughs> I just That's knew everybody awesome. knew her. I don't know yeah, if you guys. Everyone knows Callie. I don't know if you guys remember, but like. Love you, Callie. When did we do the video with with Chris? Like almost a year ago, more than a year. More ago. than a year ago. Yeah. We did a video with Chris Dunn, and I know a lot of you guys saw that video. This is Nikki Dunn, Chris's wife. 
She's pretty awesome. Nikki in the house. Best friends with Callie. <laughs> All right, yeah. so let's show you guys. We'll show you guys some of the things we found the past couple of days at thrift stores. And then again, if you have questions, just put them in the chat and we'll try to answer them. I gave a little sneak peek. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone knows what that is. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. There we go. So this, what size is this? It's a bigger size, yeah? 2X, 3X. It's a 3X. 3XL Gerbo, cool Gerbo, spell out on the front. Um, and it's rare to find like a nice a white shirt with no stains on it at a thrift store. I think we Very got rare. we got this from one of those Goodwill Select stores, um, which is a pretty cool store. It was more expensive. It was like six bucks, but that's at least probably like a twenty five dollar t shirt. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. All right. um, this was interesting. I got this at one of those family thrift center things. It's a Budweiser uniform. Hey, polo. Lauren. It's got like a big Budweiser patch on the side of it, and it's like it's just a uniform. It was only paid a dollar or two dollars for it, and price. I think it will get at least twenty bucks for it. These are like collector people will collect them. So it says Buzz Budweiser there, and then I think yeah, yeah, it's a pretty cool item. All right, guys, who recognizes this? Oh, sorry, I don't want to use that finger. That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Bum, bum, bum. It is. Oh, the Magellan? Magellan. Mag Magellan? Magellan? I think but it's Magellan. brand new with tags, Ah, guys. nice. So I don't think the original price tag was on this. No, it's brand new. Nothing wrong with it. Even though something's brand new, nice. you should still always check the items because sometimes we'll find stuff that has the tag yeah. still on it, but there are weird like stains from it sitting in the closet or like water damage, which is really weird. But, you know, stuff happens. So, yeah, just always check the new with tags items for stains. And this is... Don't know. This is also a 2XL and it's one of the hunt gear ones. So that should be a pretty cool, good sale. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people said Marmot. It does have a similar mm -hmm. um, similar logo to Marmot, but it's not. Yeah, Matt, I wish it was Marmot. Matt Jackson's asking, when is the Austin meetup? So I think the plan is we're gonna meet with Bonafide, Bonafide Hustler, I think tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then we'll schedule a meetup maybe with him. I don't know if he's gonna be able to make a meetup, but. We'll let you guys know tomorrow where the meetup in Austin is going to be because we will be here um, for the next couple or the next few days. So I just want to know when the arm wrestling tournament is. I'm not. I do not agree to participate. I will. <laughs> no. Arm Look at these guns. <laughs> Look at these guns. Very nice. Don't very I nice. jacked, guys? It's just because my arm's scrawny. <laughs> Bug Boy Studio says Patagonia khaki pants, yay or nay? As long as the price is good on them, yay, for mm -hmm. sure. Pretty much anything Patagonia sells, as long as you can get it for the right Magellan price. Magellan for your melon. I love nice. that. That's sticking. Haley says, are you doing a video with him? I think tomorrow we're actually in another one of his Thrift Thrift Wars videos mm -hmm. um, against ooh, oh, someone in the UK. The yeah, so we're going to have to pick out some things that we found on this trip for that battle because mm -hmm. we're not at home with our inventory, so we have to go from oh. the inventory we found. So yeah, in the last week. We'll oh. see. Definitely um, come, come to that to that show and give us some support though. For sure. All right, guys. How awesome is that? It's a master sweater and the brand nice. is, is this the actual master's brand? The Augusta? Uh, Augusta National Golf Shop. Okay, no, cause I've seen that before with the master's logo on it. Yeah. Got a nice little sweater cardigan thing. You like that? What size is that? It's a medium, Tony. Dude, we got, we got like a, uh, you like the master stuff. You want to try it I want to say on this trip, we got like five or six masters. That's a quick flip right there. Yeah, that thing quick, is nice. Tony, Tony's trying so on the masters. Soft. I think it's, it's probably, I don't know. This is a pretty cool item here, guys. The brand is Beretta, like the guns. <laughs> this has funny. pockets for your guns. Pockets oh, for your guns. Oh, oh. oh, no, that's fitted. Come here, come here, come here. What do you guys think? Can Tony rock it? It doesn't look good with the gray. With the gray, it shirt. doesn't. But it. But I think it imagine it was dude. white. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Little masters. Tony, you look good in green. Tony's a golfer. <laughs> Tony's going on a golf trip soon, so oh I think he needs that for sure. Do I like get, it. Do, do people like it? I th well, we'll see. We're gonna let them know. Oh, do they the love it? <laughs> we gotta love it. Yes. <laughs> Callie yes. Loves Callie it. likes it. Callie likes it. She put on Ryan, the red vest. All right. Here we go. Just the best. <laughs> Just the best. And another really cool, while Ryan's doing that, master's item. Another is this right here? It's another Augusta National. So 
these Ryan, how much do these go for usually? Uh, yeah, we usually get like twenty five bucks for this. Yeah, and we paid. I don't even remember. It's actually, a bit probably big. five bucks. But. It's a bit big on me, but this is what people use this for. Usually, is for their guns um, for skeet shooting for shotgun. Oh, there's something in the pocket. There's like a what is that? Skeet shooting. Skeet shooting. That's there you funny. go. There you go. So yeah, people usually they put like their shotgun shells in these pockets here, and then the top of it's padded. So when you put the butt of the gun. It doesn't hurt your shoulder as much. Literally skeet shooting paper in there. But these are good. This will probably go in like the $30, $35 range. All right. What do we have here? Oh, guys. Orvis. For your porpoise. For your porpoise. Who knows what this is for? I think we talked about it once before, but I don't remember I don't have if it any was here. for very long. I think we did. It doesn't like the camera doesn't like to pick up the nah. light. So let me move it out of the camera. But Somebody put in the chat if they know what that little piece of fabric's for. Yeah. Always check pockets. Always check absolutely. pockets. Yeah, we absolutely. We tell Callie there might be money in there. Yeah. So uh, let us know. <laughs> Here's another good find, guys. This just goes to show you that um, thrift stores still are missing certain brands, no yes. doubt. Like uh, this, Thankfully. the thrift store that we found this one at, the prices were super high. Yeah. Um, but this one was marked $1.41. And it is Untuck It brand. If you guys are not buying this brand, if you see this brand out there and you're not buying it, definitely buy it. Untuck It sells. Usually when we list an Untuck It shirt, it'll sell within, I would say, two to three days. Look how smart everybody is. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Sunnies. Are you, Adrian, are you from... Australia, Australia, I guess. Sunny, sunny. Yeah, mate. I don't think that they say that in the UK, right? But Sunny's that's definitely mate. Australian. <laughs> Legend. <Yay. laughs> Here's another kind of cool item, guys. This one is Hawaii clothing. Hawaii clothing made in Hawaii. Um, but look, it's another Budweiser item. It's another Budweiser shirt. So it's made in Hawaii, and it's got the Anheuser Busch like Budweiser logos all over it. It's pretty cool. I've seen Budweiser button downs before, but I've never seen one that's like yeah. legit made in Hawaii. So that's a really cool one. And then for Ryan, oh my so. god, Angie goes, "Do not try to rhyme to, to rhyme anything with untuck it." <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this was for me. I'm keeping this for myself. I actually have a red, <laughs> a red Nike hoodie that's the exact same one. So now I have a black one to match it. Yeah, and you love that hoodie. Oh, this I did not know anything about. So you're going to have to tell them about this. Oh, yeah, this is a cool one. Um, Mr. Resale says, Orvis does not sell it all for me. That's Ooh. weird. You must be, you're doing something wrong then because Orvis sells like hotcakes for us. Yeah, for sure. not really women's stuff so much. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it still does sell just for less. For sure. Mm -hmm. It sells, sells really well. Okay, this was an example of, um, I've actually never seen this brand before in a thrift store. So when I saw it, um, I was looking at it, it's just a regular polo, and I was looking at it, and on the buttons, I noticed that the company name is printed on the buttons. And whenever I see that, usually it means the brand is higher end, because to print your company name on the buttons, that's just an extra fee for the company. So usually when they do that, the cost of the item will be a little bit more. So I stopped and I did research on it, um, just on my phone, here's the brand show it to you guys hopefully you can pick it up oh there it is can you guys see that i don't know if you can see that the brand is called sunspell s-u-n-s-p-e-l england sunspell england um, and again when i did research on this brand used polos like this are selling in the 50 dollar range 50 dollar range and i think i paid five bucks for this shirt so that's pretty cool and again first class item most people, when they look at this, they will they would just think it's a regular plain polo. But again, if you see something that you think is quality, make sure that you do your research and look it up. Yeah. And then these, you found them together. Yes. Right? Whenever you found them, how close were they to one another? They were like four shirts apart. Oh, so great. Yeah. Some more master's stuff. So you find not only one. Two of them. But two. And they're a good size. They are a 2XL. Yeah, they're a 2XL. They're Slazinger. I thought it was Slazinger. 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 Um, but they're nice white masters embroidered polos. Um, and these, these I would say, are new without tags because they still have like the 
little thing around the buttons and they still have the fold marks from being like folded up in the store yeah. and they still feel like they've never been washed before yeah you know whenever stuff has that like almost slippery feel mm -hmm. yeah the clothes and then I think that's all the items for my side. I'm gonna keep, we're gonna try to answer your questions as we go as well, guys. Sorry, right. we're- So let's answer listening. a couple of questions since we went through a bunch of items. Not Slays, Slaz, Slazinger? It was Lauren Cole City Leafs in the chat. Why is Columbia dress shirts not selling? Why have 15 and can't sell any average price of $16? Um, are they the vented ones? The only Columbia that sells well for us are the fishing shirts. So mm -hmm. Columbia PFG, vented fishing shirts the one with the vents in the back um and those i mean we've sold we sold i want to say we sold two or three of them just this in the past couple of days if they're not vented like, i don't think we've even bought one in the last eight to ten months because no. we bought one before and it didn't sell so. yeah vented and bigger cheap. sizes with mm -hmm. the fishing stuff vented and bigger sizes sell better mm -hmm. Do you wash your clothing too we get asked this every single time we do a live video so yeah. this is a really good question we do the smell test and <laughs> if it makes it, we don't wash it because most people donate from their closets, not their hampers. If right. something does need to be washed, I absolutely wash it at home because I have a really good washing machine. So a lot in, thank you for the $5. Thank Yay. you. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Appreciate it. But yeah, um, if it needs it, it gets washed. If it doesn't, it does not get washed. And we haven't had one problem yet. Yes. Mm -hmm. How about Columbia shorts? Same thing. We only sell, it's called Columbia PFG, which stands mm -hmm. for performance fishing gear for us right now. That's the only thing that's selling on eBay. I do know people who take the regular Columbia shirts and if they can get them cheap enough, they'll lot them in like four or five shirts, same size, different patterns. Um, and those will sell on eBay. Not, again, not for a lot of money. You got to get them cheap, but they do sell. Yeah, so if your stuff isn't selling and it's selling, you know, a bit inexpensively, so $10 an item, $15 an item, try lotting it together in lots of uh, two or more and see how that works for you. Allie found, Allie found that one. I was very excited about this find. It's Slaz. It's Enjoy. what? Slaz, not Slay. I was oh, slaz. okay. But this is Ralph, Sorry, Ralph Lauren. This is a Ralph Lauren. You Warren, found that one. Lauren. You found that one too. It's just a simple chaps Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Ralph Lauren. Ralph <laughs> Lauren. And That's then, cool. yeah, it was, this one was kind of expensive. It was six fifty six. I still think, yeah, this was $6.56. The last short sleeve one that we sold, sold for like $33. So I think the long sleeve one, we should get at least, at least that for the long sleeve one. Yeah, and it's pretty unique. So Callie's going to have a lot of fun trying to get a picture of those stripes. <laughs> Radioactive Blueberry says, what a cool name. Radioactive Blueberry says, what about prices that are written on clothing and shoes? A lot of the times you can use like that, um, that rubbing alcohol mm -hmm. stuff As and a, yeah. And, a um, like a Q-tip mm -hmm. and just dip it in the alcohol and rub it on the, like the Sharpie and then rub it off with a paper towel and it should, should come off. All uh, right. right. Allie, this was, this was, I think this was Allie's best find so far of this thrift trip. Thank you. I was quite proud of it, it as is well. It is so sick. Freaked Here, you show out. That. I was so excited. I snatched it up immediately and I was hoping nobody would grab it before I ran over to it. I like literally ran. So vintage ski wear, it but up. it gets better. It's the full thing. So I'm pretty sure I should keep it. No, I'm not good enough of a skier to wear something like this that and still look it. cool. You ready for it? I bet you Nikki would want this. This thing is amazing. This should go Sick. between, I don't know, 50 and $70. Stuff like this usually does. It's a good brand. I think more. I think it'll go for 100 bucks easy. I mean, I've seen them go for as Stuff much as $130. So we'll list it high, see what happens. It's dope. Um, ski Love season it. is almost over, but it's people cool. might be stocking up. <laughs> I want one. I want at least a hundred yes. bucks for it. It's amazing. So thank you, everyone. And then um, a couple of things that we found today, actually, while we're in Dallas, I'll show you a few things. I walked into the Goodwill. We only had like twenty minutes in this Goodwill. Oh, it's cool. And <laughs> and the first thing I saw as I walked up to the men's section was roots. Look at that. To match the one I have. Yeah. But it's too small for Ryan. No. But it's still an awesome reseller for sure. It's just the Roots Canadian brand, but it's from 
2000, the 2006 Torino, is that what it is? Torino Olympics, Winter Olympics? I'm gonna buy you one in your size so we can match. You should, you and should. And I'll get you the vest so we can both have the vest and the oh, jacket. there's a little on. rip up here, no. <gasps> no, I can think you we fix can that? fix that. Just don't, don't play with it. Okay. Don't like, <laughs> grab at it like a monster. <laughs> These uh these jackets these jackets use are worth mm -hmm. like fifty bucks though for sure. So that was cool. Found that at the Goodwill and then at the same Goodwill picked up oh. this one. Wait, no, I showed that. Did you? It's the Masters. Oh, you already showed that. Yeah. No, wasn't that a different one? We got so much Master stuff. Are you already? Pretty sure that? I showed this. Okay, okay, okay. Well, then I'll move on to. And this, this. isn't everything. We just wanted to be able to answer a lot of the questions, you know. Check out this gem. We've been Reebok showing for like the Reebok last Polo with the it's a Reebok classic, time. Reebok classic tag with the big Reebok on the front and then the big Reebok on the back. It's pretty cool. I think that'll go for at least twenty five bucks. Um, and then the the last thing we'll show you guys from that thrift store is good this night, brand. Rita. Roar. I'm sure we've we've shown this brand a lot on our channel. Um, anytime we can pick up Roar for under like six bucks, we'll pick it up, especially if it's long sleeve and it has the big embroidery. This is all embroidered on the back. Yeah, but look at the sides. They're also Oh, the sides are embroidered. embroidered. Yeah, that's a nice shirt. We've been getting with like a shirt like this with all this embroidery. We usually get like 33 bucks for them. Mr. Dragon's Fire said, Allie's always right. Ellie's always right. Yes. I wish. That would mean I have a good memory. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Now we can answer your questions. Yeah. Please. We showed items for 22 minutes. So oh, nice. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, guys. We got 324 people watching oh, right wow. now. Thanks, everyone, for joining sweet. us. We will be going live again. I know we've missed a few days, but we will be continuing to go live. Thanks, the Kegi. We're going to meet up with Bonafide Hustler tomorrow which would be pretty sweet never met him in person but we have met rakin and college picker and they're both really nice guys yeah, we've hung out multiple times with whoa bernie's, bernie's back twenty dollars thank you man <laughs> oh bernie you're the bernie, best twenty dollars appreciate it um send us your questions bernie what questions do you have today probably from around where i'm from all right do you know any anime bolos plush plush anime bolos no what about like the um tokidoki ones I don't know. I I just looked at sales and they were all for brand new ones. Not what, too many for used ones. What about pop characters? Oh God, there's too many. Anything? There's thousands of pop characters. It would be impossible to go over them, right? Yeah, I guess so. I would say po with pop characters, anything with like a um, exclusive, especially from a con, like the San Diego Comic Con, with that exclusive sticker on it, those sell for good money. Ooh, thrift school. What's up? He says, sup, pups. Yeah. <laughs> I was just in the Orlando area. Didn't do any thrifting there, sadly. I did in Miami, and it was oh, it wasn't great, oh, really. No. You did in Jacksonville, no bueno. We must have oh. cleaned out all the thrift stores. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we went through Orlando pretty hard through the guy section, at least. Before we left Florida, we must have cleaned it all out. <laughs> no, I've heard that. I've heard thrifting is is hit or miss in uh, in Miami, and we've actually thrifted in Jacksonville as well, and we didn't find much stuff. So. Tampa is really good. If you have time, run through Tampa and hit the Salvation Armies. They're really good. I think that's how you spell the Toki Doki, everybody. I saw Callie Butcher the way you spell it. Thrift School says Funko Pop Leatherman from American Horror Story. Yeah. Most of the exclusive exclusives end up being worth something, but if mm. they're not exclusive, they don't typically end up being worth right. something unless they're really old before Funkos are really popular. Right, right. And they have a bunch of vaulted ones, but that's like a whole new thing. And then they could unvault them. So you spend eighty dollars on one and then they unvault it and it's only worth six dollars on Amazon. So Arrow yeah. two two five two said just sold the Joker Funko for hundred and fifteen dollars. That's oh, awesome. I am I mean, jealous. Like Ali said, some of them are worth a lot of money. There's one Dragon Ball Z Funko that we want, but we won't buy yet because, because it's, it's like nine hundred dollars. Yeah, and it even goes up every couple of months. It goes up fifty dollars at least. One witch lady says, if you have ten to fifteen minutes in the thrift store, where would you look? I'll answer where I I would look. Do you have mm -hmm. a Do you have an answer? I got an answer that's different than your answer. So I would look, first I would go to the men's shoes because I can easily tell which are the good ones and which mm -hmm. are the bad ones. I could probably get through those in like five minutes. And then from there, I personally would go to the winter wear. So like jackets and um, sweaters. 
and I would look for high-end jackets or uh, vintage pullovers. That's just what I would look for. And if we were at the same thrift store, it's easier to go through the guy stuff really quickly. So I'd probably go through the polos and button-ups, and I could probably do both in almost yeah. 15 minutes. At least the ones in Florida are a lot smaller than the ones here. But if Ryan was going to do those, then I would do the girls' athletic wear, the bottoms, not the tops. Mm -hmm. Bernie's bootlegs. That's a very good question. So Bernie asked, what are your observations on how you, how your sell through rate scales as your number of active items increases? Do you find it scales proportionately? So I've actually, I've been talking about this a lot lately in person mm -hmm. with people. I think personally, I think it's more important to look at your total amount of revenue listed. So not the item, the amount of items you have listed, but the total amount dollar amounts you have listed. So if you have, let's say you have $10,000 worth of inventory listed, I don't care if that's a hundred items or a thousand items, it's better if it's a hundred items. Um, <laughs> but you want to look at that amount and then you calculate usually on like a used clothing, thrift store, garage sale, eBay store, the sell through rate is about 2%. So if you have $10,000 listed, 2% a day, if you have about $10,000 listed, you should be selling about $200 a day gross revenue. Um, and if you look at it that way, if your if your net margin is 50%, then on $200, you net $100 um, after shipping and fees and everything. And if you do that, if you can consistently keep it at $10,000 listed, then you're making net around $3,000 a month. So I think it's better to focus on that dollar amount than the amount listed, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Yeah, I think, you know, it's numbers, it's a numbers game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bernie's bootleg says, my problem with using total value of items is that my 54K selling limit isn't even close to enough to list inventory I actually have. Oh, Max we tried calling eBay? Yeah, 50, usually they'll up it, they'll usually double it once a month. So if you get close to that 54K, um, try to hit it, try to like max it out and then call eBay. Um, and usually if you're maxing it out and if you have good feedback, you're not getting negative feedbacks, they'll double it for you to whatever, 108K, sometimes more, sometimes they'll go like 250K. Yeah. How do you price in, how do you price an item that you can only find sold in auctions? Um. I would still price it the same way. So I, we look at we look at auctions and buy it now sold comps. So we look at sold comps in the last 90 days of the items that yeah. have sold on eBay. Um, and then we would price it around. So we look at sold comps. We also look at what's listed because if an item sold for $50, but that same item is listed for $20, then you would want to kind of wait till that item, that item that's listed for 20 sells and then list yours for 50. Um, if there's an item that sold for 20, but there's only one listed for 50, we would mm -hmm. probably list it around like 45 bucks and try to swoop in and get the deal. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you, they just doubled it. Now you have to wait, Bertie. Yeah. It's Wait, just a waiting just game. Did you get it doubled just now? That's amazing. No, we say they just doubled it to 54 or whatever. Oh, um, oh, max it out and call them again. <laughs> max it out. And usually in about like three, three to four weeks, they'll, um, the chat moved up. Where did the question go? Oh my gosh, Mr. Mr. Dragon's Fire says I have a max selling limit of 586 million. That's one of the higher ones I've seen. I did what? see someone post they had a 1.2 trillion a month, and they were only using like uh, eighty thousand dollars a month of it. <laughs> yeah, eBay will max what? you out pretty quick. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Laden, I didn't realize that. Laden, thank you for the two dollars super chat. We appreciate it. What is your favorite Texas thrift store so far? Well. Oh, definitely not Goodwill. Mm. They're a ripoff and they're getting all this stuff for free. And then when you check out, they ask for more money and you're like, but I'm <laughs> giving you all this money. Yeah. Goodwill's prices are pretty high in Texas. We are, we have yeah. found some good stuff, but um, I think my favorite stuff that's still expensive. My favorite was at America's thrift store place only because of the yeah, size. I like, like the size. Of a lot of their prices were high too, but this just the volume, like there were thousands and thousands of items. If you walk into that thrift store and you don't find something to resell, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, Let's try my to face answer. when Ryan said that number, I was, I still feel that way inside. I, what? And we will, guys, we don't only answer the, the super chat questions. We will try to answer all questions that we can. Just please bear with us. It's going very fast. The chat goes fast, so. And again, please give the video a thumbs up. We're doing our best. 360 people watching. 
All right. You let's read see. that one? You got it. I yeah. got it. Okay. Evan, thank you for the $5 super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you. I want some of this water okay. that you took from sorry, me. I was sorry. like, where's my water? Hey guys, how do you keep from getting down um, if we aren't finding good stuff to sell on eBay? That's a good question. Ooh. I mean, I think just like everybody else, we have days that are up and down. Sometimes we'll go to a thrift store and we'll only find one item in an hour. You know, it yeah. does happen. Um, I, my advice would be to keep going, like keep hitting more and more thrift stores. If one doesn't have items, go to the next one, go to the next one. Um, if you still can't find anything, maybe try doing some more research on your phone. Maybe try watching some more YouTube videos and getting some more yeah. brands in your head. Maybe try switching from clothing to hard goods for a while. But also get out of that negative mindset as well. I mean, True, I would yeah. suggest listening to potentially like a inspirational podcast. Those are free. Finding an inspirational YouTube video, you know, you just want to get out of that negative mindset because True. I find that whenever we're in a negative mindset, we're, we don't do as well. Yeah. Is then when we're in a positive mindset because, you know, you're just more open when you're positive. For sure. Yeah. Frosty Charlie's in the chat. What's up? He says, glad we liked the America's thrift stores. Laden says everything is bigger in it in Texas. This is true, <laughs> especially the food. Okay. And then someone asks, how do you join your mentoring program? Ah, okay. So John. we're right in the middle of one right now. Um, the next one will be in at the end of June. And if you just go to our website, just it's just rally roots, R A L L I roots.com, and you submit a form, we'll email you when we open up more spots. And then Becca sent, sent us two bucks. Thank you very much, Becca. She says, I like wine, eBay, and fake it's YouTube so funny. videos. Yes. We only make fake videos. That's Although all this we do. Is my natural color. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, That's a good question. On average, how much would you say you find it in? average thrift store that Lots is a good averages. question i mean at least 10 items on average in an hour i would say oh, in an hour i would say if we went in for an hour i would say 10 items okay me too yeah that's fair and then i saw a question up here are you always shocked that people with cool stuff are too lazy to sell it themselves on ebay rather give it away for you like those gucci glasses <laughs> um I'm actually not shocked about it just because think about this. If you if you want to sell something on eBay, you have to open an eBay account. You have to open a PayPal account right now. This is how eBay works. When you sell something on eBay, if you just open those accounts, usually PayPal holds your money for 21 days. Mm -hmm. um, and then eBay can also hold your account hostage for a certain amount of time. And you can only list like 10 things. So no, I'm, I'm actually not surprised just because for a new seller to get on eBay, the barrier to entry is, is actually quite difficult. It surprises me that more people don't just go list their items on like Poshmark. I actually have to almost disagree with that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. You know what I think? It oh is my is gosh. People are afraid to ship the stuff. Oh, that's true too. People are terrified of shipping. Too. They don't understand it. It's foreign. It's bizarre. The post office always tells you the wrong thing. At least when we've gone in, yeah. they've always told us the wrong thing. Right. It's been a struggle. The struggle that's was true. really real. It was really real. So we've. Yeah. Shipping, shipping can be shipping, hard. Yeah. Shipping's the worst part. Yeah. Shipping, I'm afraid of Are you? Yeah. yeah. We knew someone who did everything, and then so. when it came to shipping, they just gave up and refunded the buyer. That's how bad it was because they couldn't ship the That's item. That's true. Mm -hmm. Very, so all of those things then, yeah. Yeah. And then Bernie sent us another two bucks. Thank you, Bernie. And he said, as a general rule, do you prefer wholesale or retail? Um, so I prefer wholesale mm -hmm. for making money, for making a, de a decent living. Um, and then I prefer retail for fun. It's much more fun to go into a thrift store and find stuff. It's much more fun to go into a store or garage sale and find stuff. Um, but wholesale pays the bills. We like the treasure <laughs> hunting aspect, but wholesale is really great. Like a continual flow of money coming in, whereas it's always kind of random with the stuff that you find. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a great question. Ooh. Get out of reselling for a bit. And and the question is, what is some of the best food you've eaten so far oh, on the trip? Oh my God, don't even get me started. I'm like, I'm like 10, a good 10 pounds heavier than when, <laughs> when we left. All I want to say is Houston has the best food and my friend's boyfriend knows where it all is. That bomb me. I'm going to get some more water. That bomb me sandwich was amazing. Thai soup was amazing. It was like a Thai chicken coconut soup. But everything we've eaten, we ate like Korean food. Ooh, where are all the other places? We didn't get to go to Shipley's. Can't wait tomorrow to go to Torchies. Go to Torchies tomorrow. 
Maybe we've that's been, where we'll meet Bonafide. We've been waiting to get to Austin to load up on some tacos, but we did dats. we dats we did hit the in and out on the way here. The in and out burger was No hot dotties. Dats is in Florida. Hot dotties. <laughs> hot dotties. Tony, hot dotties burgers? Hop dotties. Hop dotty. Yeah, that's here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's my favorite burger. Oh, no, we're good burgers. All right. <laughs> Hashtag dim sum. Finale. Dim sum's great. The dim sum was incredible. Oh my gosh. Where's that little statue I got? I wanted to ask everybody about it. I will post it on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, guys, people were asking about the Austin meetup earlier. Um, please, we will try to announce it on YouTube, but please go to our Instagram and follow us. Rally Roots on Instagram. All one word. Mm -hmm. Follow us on Instagram and we will post where the Austin meetup is going to be if you do want to meet up with us. Raken's in the chat. Raken, what's up, buddy? Taco Deli. Taco Deli is so good. We're going to have to make Raken envious hanging out with Chris because <laughs> he was he was uh, hating on Chris when he was here hanging out, remember? He was like sending Chris pictures of our house and yes! stuff. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That was amazing. I bet Chris has a really cool house, though. They always find oh, really know, cool I stuff. Know. Maybe he sells all the cool stuff that he finds, though. True, I true, don't blame true. him. We have too much. <laughs> Someone sold a Cinnabon that looked like Virgin Mary for $25,000. I don't doubt it. <laughs> that is insane. Bernie's bootleg says... For five dollars, for five dollars, for five dollars, <laughs> can I get a P? Birdie says, "Can you see yourselves reselling for the next thirty plus years? Do you ever think about your future past five or ten years from now?" Oh, I have no idea where we'll be in ten years, let alone two years. So we're in the we're we we're actually talking about this earlier in the car. In the car. We're yep. in such a good spot right now where we have a lot of opportunity, freedom. Freedom. We have a lot of different paths that we can take. Um, I think that we will always resell something. Yeah. We will always be, we will always resell something. Um, we're building a warehouse in Tampa. Yeah. So we're never going to be completely out of the reselling game because we're going right, to have right. that property. Um, so what we sell, I think will change a little bit. Um, we'll probably start getting into higher end things, but no, I don't think we'll ever not resell. Becca, you bought a basket and sold it for $110. That's what awesome. kind of a basket was that? I don't think we're going to do a podcast, Evan. We like we like the interaction of YouTube face to face. Maybe we'll interview some more people. I don't know. Maybe we should do a podcast though for when people are listening, they can maybe, listen to us. Maybe. If we have time and we can get I was to thinking that, I was thinking more like a Netflix special. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> go go big or go home. I'll do a podcast if I can get on Joe Rogan's podcast. How about that? Oh, and then we'll start our own podcast channel. That's a, that's a life goal of mine to get on Joe Rogan's podcast. We also podcast. talked about that, and that was one of Ryan's life goals. We talked about it in the car. Bucket list item right there. All right, more questions. Have you ever sold Joseph A. Banks shirts? Not no. once. They, never. You know what's funny is that no. um, they like – they almost give away those shirts, the Joseph A. Bank shirts. They're, for us, we, right. we can't get enough money for them, so we don't sell them. But I guess if you had a bunch of them, they're all the same size, and you wanted to try to sell them, lot them together and see what happens. You know? Right. Especially, sorry if I'm making sounds. I was like clicking my nails on the table. April says, found a polo Ralph Lauren men's, <laughs> men's canvas jacket with funky buckles, but can't find the exact jacket anywhere. Any suggestions to look for comps? I've Googled it to death. Paid 35 cents. Well, you're going to make money on it. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, so usually if we find something that's unique like that and we can't, we can't find any comps, um, one of two things. There's, there's Facebook groups with like 35,000 yeah. members where you can go and post a picture of the item. Just Google like Facebook vintage clothing group on Facebook and you can go mm -hmm. post it and they'll give you advice. But for us, the better thing to do is, is kind of like let the market decide on eBay. So we'll auction it off. We'll do a seven day auction starting on a Sunday. Um, and we'll start it at like a, a $10 or $9.99 starting price. Um, and then just let the market decide how much it's worth. Yeah, sometimes that's the best way to do it because it might sell for more than you would have listed it for. Yeah. <laughs> Bernie's bootlegs, bro. You and Joe so Rogan can funny. geek out about tattoos. I know. I told Ali, I was like, if I if I ever get on Joe Rogan's podcast, I'm gonna need like an hour beforehand just to kind of like geek out with them, and then we can go into the podcast. And then this is interesting from RV Fl RVA Flips. Um, I actually saw on this on flip. Instagram. Hey. Hey, sorry. Did you guys get the email <laughs> regarding returns? I think that eBay systems are glitching, and everyone got that email. Yes, yes. Um, we've talked to multiple. We didn't call eBay, but we've talked to multiple people who did call eBay, 
and they gave the same response. That was a glitch. That email was not supposed to go out. Oh, yeah. I just was assuming because of what everyone was saying. Yeah, numbers um, wise, it was I mean, illogical. people. This email came out saying your returns are too high, and I'm talking like people who had two returns in a year were getting that email. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you start seeing your sales affected, then yeah. Yeah, that's a little scary, right? If their systems are glitching. Oh. Uh. The Keggy says, what religion are we? We actually don't, we don't discuss anything to do with religion or politics on our channel. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's our highest profit item from a thrift store? Ooh. I think we haven't had any Ooh. like thousand dollar flips from a no, thrift store. No, not even a $500 flip from a thrift store. We, yeah, we've had like a couple hundred, like like a dollar into 250 bucks. I think that this Indian motorcycle jacket that we got might be one of our highest. Right, we but paid we also up for paid it. up for yeah, it. Yeah, so that'll yeah. be like 150 into like 600 bucks, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Mine said two returns. Yeah, Steffi, we, it was just a glitch in their systems. So um, is it Michael's or Michelle's world? Soon summer will be here. Why so slow then? Let's talk about that for a second because that's a very good question. Um, we've been through multiple sellers as resellers on eBay and most resellers will tell you that sales go down during summer. However, if you list the right things, your sales will not decrease. So make sure that you're listing summer oriented items, yes. list bathing suits, list, I mean, shoes always sell year round. So you people are going on cruises. So, you know, yeah. clothing that somebody would wear on a cruise, right. like Tommy Bahama. So for, for us, we kind of will start listing certain items so that our sales don't decrease over summer and they still will a little bit, but I would say our sales drop only about 5% over summer. Um, yeah. So, and then I saw a good stuff. question. It was from Jessica. You, Ali, you said you could fix a jacket earlier. How stain ripped does something have to be before you decide to just donate it? Do you buy anything specifically knowing you can clean or fix it? Um, it's, it all comes down to value and time is money. So if it's going to take me an hour to fix it and it's only worth $30 and we have to pay $7 for it and it's heavy, obviously that doesn't make sense. So it literally just comes down to the cost of my time to fix the item true, true, true. and how much it's worth. If it's worth $300 and I can fix it in two hours right. and we pay $5 for it, you know, that's a really hard question to answer because it's just <laughs> too open, but yeah, I, I want that helps. I want to just thank everybody really quick. We have 427 people watching right Whoa. now, which is so cool guys. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It does help us out. Mm -hmm. It takes like one second. Just hit the thumbs up button. And, and we are going to plan a meetup. It'll either be Friday night or Saturday. Yeah. So we're just playing around with it, just depending on when we leave. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you guys another. I forgot to show these, but these are. this is another item or two items that we bought at the thrift store. This is definitely a bolo item, guys. They are New Balance, right? New Balance? Yeah. Minimus. I think I've told you guys about shoes like this. New Balance Minimus. And they have the Vibram soles. I think someone said it's pronounced Verbram or Verbram. I say Vibram. So <laughs> let us know in the chat how to say that because I am very curious. I found both of these pairs at the th same thrift store. I did pay up for them. Yeah, a lot. Paid $15 a pair. Yeah. But the reason why is because there is high demand for those type of shoes. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you those things will sell for at least 45 bucks a pair. I might sell them together actually because they are the same size. So Ooh. we'll see. Someone's asking if I can play the bongo drum in the background. Oh, no. Tony can though. <laughs> Where's the bongo? Is it? Is Who carries the, a credit card? Ali or Ryan, we both have a credit card isn't that linked called to the, the same account. Tembe? <laughs> Tem, Dem, what's it called? Jambe. Jambe. Oh, it's all the same. And then my tap's looking really jambe? good, but whatever same. bit me, it's getting worse in some areas and better in other areas. So I, someone thinks it was a flea. Her husband's an exterminator, and I described like the whole situation that happened. And I think it was while we were at the thrift store it happened. I don't know though. I woke up with the bites. Ryan didn't have any, and it was my only arm that was. Callie covered. knows what it is. Ugh. Jembe, you'll be fine, babe. It's awful. It's so itchy. Oh my god. <laughs> what's the Frosty Charlie says? What's the most y'all have listed in one day without Callie's help? I don't know. 
maybe 40, 50 items once. But does that include taking pictures? Questions aren't specific enough. I mean, I, I've list, I know I've listed 50 things myself in a day. Oh, well, then it was probably more. Yeah. Without Cali, though. We have a really good system for listing, though. Yeah. And we will come back to Dallas. We don't know when, but we will definitely go back to Dallas because we want to go to Six Flags. <laughs> Michelle <laughs> says, just found those exact shoes and gave them to my husband. Well, he no longer has shoes for tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> gonna sell, oh gonna yes. Sell the shoes right off of his feet. That's awesome. Do we miss our puppies? We do. We really miss our puppies. I know. Luckily, Tony has an awesome puppy here that we get to hang out with. So that's cool. Yay! Oh! Mike Vaughn, thank you for the taco funds. Taco funds, $10 taco funds. And thank you for all the tips and tricks. Yeah, you're amazing. You are amazing. Uh, oh, oh, $5 wow. from Henson Jenkins. Arcturek. Nice. Got an Arcturex jacket today. Wouldn't have known, but you mentioned it a few videos ago. Thanks. The skeleton stuck out. Yes. You know what's funny is that it's such like a weird logo, but when you see it, you know exactly what it is. And when you see it, you know that it's money. You got a jacket. I mean, the jackets are sometimes worth like $150 plus. So just the regular like button down shirt sell for 30 bucks. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. And thanks for tipping us for the tip. That's super funny. I really love that. <laughs> tips for that tips. Concept. Tips for tips. And neither of us were born in Florida. And we do go to estate sales. I was born in Africa. Yep, and I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. Hence my African Yeehaw. arm. Right? Pretty country back then. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was cool. Hello from Canada. A and D ointment. What's your system for listing? I do the list and pictures 99% on your own. Okay. So the, the easiest way to do it is to break it up into tasks. So prep all of your items that you want to list for that day. So prep all 50 items, um, then take all the measurements for those items then take all the pictures. So this is separate task. Take all the pictures for those items. Take them with the actual camera with a memory card. Then take the memory card to your computer, plug it in. Once you have all the pictures and measurements done, then just list the items or draft them. You don't have to actually make them live, just draft them. And then, yeah, make listing a task, pictures a task, measurements a task, and do it that way. If you do it that way, you should be able to list at least 50 in a day. And then Mark asked, will you guys be buying liquid? Oh, it's gone. Uh, buying liquidation in the future. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like I said, we're, we're the plan when we get back to Florida is to buy land, build this warehouse, and then once we have the space, we can mm -hmm. decide exactly what we want to do with it. Um, we've also yeah. talked about maybe buying larger bulk, breaking it into smaller lots, and maybe sharing some of that with you guys, mm -hmm. maybe selling to other resellers so that they can also have a place to buy wholesale from at a cheaper price, you know? So we'll see. Oreo Kid asks, do we play Fortnite? I don't play Fortnite, but my brother does. My yeah, brother is, he's, good he's pretty it. good at it, actually. Yeah. Largest item we've ever sold. Size-wise? I guess hey, size um, yeah. yeah. Si Size-wise? The vacuum cleaner? Largest, oh, like man. Single item? I think it was the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. We have, the fishing we poles are really long. Like yeah. We've sold, like, some furniture locally. Yeah, that's true. We sold couches, so but that counts. Largest item we ever sold were couches. <laughs> sold and shipped probably the vacuum. Yeah. Um, what eBay store subscription do we have? We have a couple of different ones, but the one that we share is just the middle one, the premium store subscription. It's not an anchor store or anything like that. And the man from Tune, do we <laughs> save our pictures or delete them? Um, we save them up to a full month, and then Callie deletes them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bernie's bootlegs, you will definitely have a place in the new Roots Castle, but yes. it, I think it'll still be called, called the Fortress of Solitude. I like that name. We'll get a big sign made for it, maybe. Oh, that would be so cool. Tony, Ben says hi. Oh, Ben's here? Yeah. Ben's, Ben's Ryan's brother. Okay. Question. I recently asked you the advice if you give on eBay to help act in more. It's a long question. Yeah. I don't understand that question. I'm sorry, Jerry. Maybe re-ask that question. Okay. Debbie sold a Batman electronic car, like the remote control ones, or the ones that like you ride in. I hope it was the ones that you ride in, because that's pretty cool. Oh, Thomas said he sold two-headed calf taxidermy from the early 1900s. That is Whoa. macabre stuff, guys. If you can find yes. macabre things, they're definitely yes. worth money. 
I can see that selling for a lot uh -huh. of money. Too. And old medical devices too sell for a decent oh, amount of money. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Because it's macabre. Hello, right. Nevermore Antiques. How's it going? We've been uh, We've been meaning to binge watch some of your videos as well. We will definitely do that. And then, Sir Thrifts a lot. Did you sell a very large shirt shirt one time? You think it was like a six or seven X? No, it was actually a five X. Five X. And we cool. sent it to Mary Shine because she had a friend that it was perfect for, and it was really nice quality, and she loves us. Yeah. And so we just wanted to pay it forward to her because she knows that it's really hard to find them sometimes. And so it went to a friend. So we sent it to her for her friends. <laughs> Nano says, have to force myself to stop playing Fortnite to list no list. That's so funny. Yes. You could just, uh, you could Twitch stream you playing Fortnite. Like the, who's the one, the one streamer that makes half a million dollars a month oh, playing that's Fortnite? Crazy. That's pretty cool. And then how do we stay focused while listing and not dilly dally? Well, I guess not being home really helps going out <laughs> of your comfort zone where you don't get sidetracked yeah. by things. Like if you're sitting at a library, what's going to sidetrack you? Maybe looking at books. That's Whereas at True. home, you have a lot more things that you feel stressed out that you need to do and it's sitting there where you can see it in front of your face. So right. Maybe going away where there's less distractions. You Ninja. Know? Ninja, Ninja is the guy who makes half a million dollars playing oh, Fortnite. there you go. So much money. He's really good at it though. <laughs> and how do we take photos with the ruler measurement horizontally? We no longer do that. We measure it and put the measurements on a- Picture. A picture, a little piece of art that I made, yeah. If you're wondering what it looks like, you can check out our store. What about the old, newer items? What about old black and white photos? Ever sell them? No, we we no. don't really. But we need to start looking at them because there was that one. Um, what was it? The uh, the famous person. Yeah, who was it? That he's rarely been photographed. Come oh, on, I can't remember who what the guy's it? name was. He was the cowboy dude. Sold it on, one. sold it for ten dollars on eBay, and then it was worth like two point eight million dollars. Oh who God, was you're it? So guy? funny, Bernie. You guys know. Step one: close. YouTube tab in browser. Yes. Sure. <laughs> hey, um, Callie, yeah. if anybody wants to see it, Callie just posted a link to um, our eBay store. Actually, you posted it to the user, Callie, not the store. Here, I'll post the actual store. Oh, oh Brian's <laughs> typing. But this is the store that we share publicly. Thank you, Cindy. Of the hip. Wells Taco Lion. I love tacos. I can't wait. And so I don't think Billy it was, the oh, kid. Billy the Everyone Kid. Everyone knows. Was it Billy? No, it wasn't Billy the Kid. It was Jesse James, I think. Jesse James. No, that sounds like the one that you, the article you read. I remember that. Pretty sure it was Jesse yeah. James. Pretty sure it was Jesse James. Yeah. Like, whoops, don't fire me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love you, Callie. How many listings would you say you need to start getting to, to get a sale a day? Well, again, it goes back to the principle of most most eBay stores out there that sell used items like clothing and garage sale stuff sell it average about 2% sell through a day. So if you have a hundred items listed, you should be selling around two a day. Um, if you have 200, 200 listed, you should be selling around four a day and so on. So mm -hmm. if you're not, you should probably just go in and tweak some of your listings, maybe run some promotions, see what you can do to get more. Yeah, maybe drop sales. some prices in the beginning when you're starting to try to get some of that feedback rolling yeah. in. It's a Pokemon tattoo. Yep. Eevee. Bernie's bootlegs, another two dollars. Thank you, Bernie. He says, How many items do you think I can fit in 120 square feet? Well, how big are the items, Bernie? That's true. <laughs> are they vacuums? Because probably not that many. Something like clothing in 120 square feet, probably like five hundred items done right, I guess. Yeah, because if you stack all the roller yeah. shelves, you can just pull it out, kind of like a um next to the fridge. What are those? cabinet doors called where you can put like your spices or the really narrow mm, cabinets. I forgot. Yeah, so you just slide it out, get what you need, slide it back in, you know? So what's on wheels? <laughs> <laughs> I also saw Bernie say that his sell through rate is like five to 8%, which is really cool. You must be selling some very in demand items. Um, and if you're worried about that in scale, I Pokemon. wouldn't be worried. If you're still listing the same kind of items, you should still keep that, keep that name. A couple of people asked about the tattoo. So this is the Bulbasaur on the ice cream cone. And this is an Eevee on a slice of cake. I'm getting this finished April 10th. I sat for four hours and we think that it's gonna be probably another three. All right. Do you guys ever look at film questions. cameras, point and shoots are going for a lot right now? Yeah, we've actually sold a ton of Polar Polaroid cameras. Um, Polaroid, especially the older ones are mm -hmm. selling for a really good amount of money right now, so. 
And then we have considered selling on Posh. And what do we think about Poshmark? I like the fact that we can sell heavier items because yeah. Poshmark does the label for you and you give them 20%. So for shoes that are really heavy, that are going to sell for what? Like maybe just 25 bucks. They keep 20% right. and they pay for shipping. That's amazing. So yeah. We got offers coming in on eBay. Offers. I wonder if people are going to that link. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bernie, you're so funny. All right. Lots of good questions. Um, Careful some Polaroids you can't get filmed for anymore. Yeah, that's true. But even those Polaroids that you can't get filmed for anymore, um, people still collect them. There's big, big time Polaroid collectors. And even some of those ones, they'll have film for those cameras or they'll, um, they'll just want them to add to their collection. So yeah. And I saw this question earlier. Um, John and Laura asks, how do you determine what clothing is vintage? I think that you need to be aware of what new tags look like so you can recognize if it's no longer a new tag. Um, you can usually tell by the tag if you are comfortable and familiar with the newer tags. So I would recommend going to the mall, looking at the newer tags, especially right. for the items that are selling all the time, such as Tommy. So you want to see what the new Tommy tags look like. And you will, once you look at enough tags, see a resemblance between them all. Like they're printing tags now on clothes because people rip out the tags and the older stuff, it has a certain distinction about it. So yeah, I would definitely go to some stores in the mall and do some research, look around. Hope that helps. Sir, let's answer just a couple more questions because we've been streaming for a while now. Oh, it's almost an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Sir Thrifts a lot says, I have 570 listings with a huge variety of vintage to new items and clothing, and I'm selling only two items per day. Maybe I it's would, too expensive. Yeah, I would check your prices. Um, I would maybe, if you're not doing free shipping, I would think about rolling your shipping cost into the price and offering free shipping. Offering free shipping. I would think about maybe adding best offer to some of your items to peak interest, yeah. um, go in and tweak some titles, mm -hmm. go in and uh, maybe run promotions, maybe run a sale on your items. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Yeah, maybe edit the description a little bit to be more descriptive because I don't know what your description's like. How many items did you have in inventory when income became more than reinvestment from D -da -ka source? Um, I think, you're better at stuff like that than me. Yes. So, so on average, we'll sell through items within 30 to 45 days. So, so it's kind of a tough question. I, I don't know the exact item amount. Again, it's for us, it's more in revenue. Um, and when we had $20,000 listed on eBay, that's when we started to see some, some decent growth. Um, and, I would say once we had like fifty thousand dollars listed on eBay, that's when we started seeing full time income. Does that make sense? All right. All right. I think that's it. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. And for almost an hour. Yeah. If you guys have, if you still have questions, please leave them in the comments of the video once the video is posted. We love you guys. Sorry we can't stay longer. We will probably be live. Well, we will be live with Bonafide on his channel tomorrow. And then maybe after that show, we'll go live ourselves or something. I don't know. But stay posted. Please follow us on Instagram to know mm -hmm. when the Austin meetup is going to be. And thanks for hanging out with us tonight, guys. We appreciate it. Please make sure that you hit the thumbs up button right like that. <laughs> thumbs up. And thank you so much for coming and watching. Really appreciate everybody's time. It means a lot to us. It really does. It does. It does. Thank you guys very much. We love you and we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Peace and chicken grease.